Hi guys. Uh, the video you're going to see coming up after this, I'm going to give an explanation before the install because I didn't take a lot of time out in the woods to show the install because I don't know. Sometimes I do that. I get just get going and don't want to do the. I show a few pieces, but what I'm going to explain to you is is this. Some material here on the old Fabtex, which is now Cat 501s, just so you all know that. Um, they had an old measuring computer. This was the display, it would read the uh, all your numbers. You did everything with a keypad and programmed it here for your cut, cut to length stuff. And actually, this one we had redone once. Uh, a new display was put in it because they died out now they got the LED ones and whatnot but anyways so that last video you saw of me with the guy harvesting everything went good for the week sort of it was intermittent he'd get a half a day's work out of it he'd get a uh, sometimes four trees and so that video when I made it Bob decided to go ahead and order that and it took him a week they had to build I think they had to build the harnesses or they had to get them or whatever they had to do so yesterday was the day I went out to put it in and it was pretty smooth um, so basically the red box you'll see with the keypad on it is replacing this this whole enchilada and if you look in there real close 1996 and if Carl if you ever watched this that guy this is number 2019 that was made and I doubt it was starting at 2000 because um, that's the third Fabtech ever made and I got another identical box right next to it that isn't quite identical and it is serial number 2299 so a lot newer version but anyway so this was out of the third machine made and just a testament I guess to how long it's lasted and so anyways to get to the end of it you'll just see me putting that in I took this out from behind the seat this was the old display I got everything here on the bench back to the shop it is a blizzard out right now and uh, my walls are creaking here and holy cow at any rate so that's what you're gonna see we did get the machine we plugged it in I called him up he come out there we got it fired up so far everything's working except just before this one quit the uh, the saw return solenoid on the valve bank stopped working so the saw bar goes out, it'll just hang there, it won't come back in automatically. So either, well, I shouldn't say that, either we've got a, uh, from the relay box out, wire issue, or more than likely the solenoid. I gave him one to put in and we'll wait for the weather to clear off tomorrow, tonight, and get that fixed up. But the measuring computer, the new one works really well. And, uh, so... The only thing he's got to do is fine tune it. It's a different way to program than this one. He's got to put in his presets and then see how much they cut with a tape measure and then adjust in the computer in the manual that shows how to do that. So that's what you're going to see coming up. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I know it's not much, but it's what I'm doing. Take care. Well, I found it. Wow, it's way back in the woods. Not too far, but I got it. Time to go to work. Change out a computer. Measuring device. So, like I said, we're out here putting this new computer in. I just got it mounted. And I'm using that black box or the MDI mounts, this thing. And uh, 
I got to put it back together. I got to get rid of the wires. I got to fish the new wires in. But that's it. I don't care for them mounts, but maybe they'll prove me wrong. I don't know. That pretty pretty seems pretty pretty damn good. So that ain't much to it. I got to take the computer out back there because that one is no longer used because it's all in here now. And then uh, I got the owner coming. We're going to try to program it and get everything working. So not much of a video. It's actually a pretty clean install once we get it programmed. They provide nice cordage to go from the just to adapt right to it so it's just a matter of tucking them away until we get this thing in the shop to run them all through the you know the console or whatever you want to call it over there so that's what I'm up to just gonna finish that up then we'll see what happens after that because it's supposed to be icy and rainy and stuff today so and it's warm though it's 25 degrees so there's no gloves today all right Well, she's all installed. Got the computer and all the old wires out. And uh, beautiful day, just we're waiting for the operator, the owner, Mr. Bob, so we can go through and program it together. See if he can figure it out. It's different than an old one, but it's somewhat similar. Same kind of deal, so. I turned it on once, everything flashed up, she looks good, so I'm just waiting for him and that's what I know. Beautiful out here. Beauty must. So if you guys ever need one of these, oh let me see what the name of it is. Send me a message, I'll tell you where to get a hold of it. You can buy them from Cat, but It's a CLC T3 2000. But, anyways, I don't want to go down that road today. So, yeah, if you need one, I've been out here maybe an hour and a half. Taking the old one out, putting the new one in. Now I got to program it, so maybe another hour and a half of dicking around once we get the machine started. And uh, see what happens from from there. I'll give you a feedback on another video. So thanks for coming along out to the beautiful woods of Wisconsin. Yeah. And we think the weatherman was overpaid because he said freezing rain all day. And yeah, it's dreary. Okay. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.